What's up guys, welcome to another Slay the Spire video. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the brand new buffed capacitor. Now, for the past couple weeks, I've been talking about how I feel capacitor is quite a bad card. It felt very low tempo, one mana for one orb slot and one card, not to mention the fact that you have to then fill up the orb slot. Now, of course it had a place in decks that use consume, so you can refill the orb slots and use consume to get focus. Anyways, I was of the opinion that Capacitor was pretty bad, so I went over to the Discord and we had a discussion about, I think the Capacitor needs a buff. A lot of people seemed to agree, but there was a few people who seemed to think that, you know, Capacitor was just fine. So after I had that discussion, I kind of thought to myself, maybe I'm thinking about Capacitor all wrong. Maybe it doesn't need a buff at all. It turns out the developers agreed and they gave Capacitor a buff. Now it gives two orb slots unupgraded and three upgraded. So as soon as these patch notes came out, I made it a mission to play with Capacitor as often as possible. In this video, you're going to see that, yes, Capacitor feels much better to play. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe if you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed. And also, guys, down below, you'll see a Twitch link. I stream daily. If you guys want to drop a follow and watch me live, that would be great. Without further ado, guys, enjoy the video. Choose a rare card. Get a curse. Max HP. Remove a card. I suppose we can remove a card. I kind of like max HP. That makes your... That can give you a little bit more push for an extra elite, and it can give you better rests. Don't know if it's better than remove a card, though, right? <laughs> Detecting Glacier, yeah, I need to, I basically need to, um, I need to channel more orbs for sure. It did. It did, it did, it did. Yeah. I'm trying to see where I want to go. I mean, we have Force Elite no matter what. I don't mind the Force Elite, it's just, there's another Elite back to back. We get three rests. I think, okay, depending on what Elite it is, we should be fine. We get an early shop. It's not too bad. Let's go for it. Did they, um... Doesn't change when you... The buff doesn't change when you take it. It changes how soon you upgrade it. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. It changes how soon you upgrade it. But because it's so good by itself without upgrading, then it makes it feel like you could take it sooner than they usually would, right? Because... Because it pretty much required an upgrade, unless your deck was absolutely perfect for it, you often didn't take it at all. Mm, I like Go for the Eyes for the Guardian. I think I like it for the, the, both the Elites. I think Hollow is probably better. I'll just go for the Eyes. I like the fact that it makes it a nicer curve anyways, right? You think Capacitor is still too slow to pay off? Ah, uh, it depends, right? I think, so Capacitor doesn't need to be played. Like, the decks that want to use Capacitor, I think it's just fine. I think this is a situation where we, you know, we could probably take Consume, and normally I wouldn't take Consume, because you probably want to take Consume if you have Orbs to generate, and you can generate, uh, get benefit from the focus. And if you also think about it, Consume is not going to be that good against the Elite, depending on what Elite it is. But now that Capacitor is a little bit better on upgraded, we can take Consume and find Capacitors pretty easily and start feeding it. But I think the offense of Axic is better, but I'm going to mess around with Consume. I'm just messing around to see if... I like the Gopher Guys upgrade. I want to see if Consume feels a little bit better. I like the Leap. I like the Loop. I like the Cool Headed. The cool Headed is not bad because now we have some focus we want to utilize. I think loop is pretty nice. I don't know if it's better than well leap. All of these things. I gotta think of. I gotta think of Grumman knob. So Grumman knob is gonna be a, a thing that I need to be able to kill. And we don't really have the offense. I suppose with loop we can get loop on the lightning, and that would be some kind of offense. As long as like con consumers played once. Can we afford all of it? We can, right? Just actually we can't. I think Horde is a little awkward too. I mean, I'm getting the Frost, which is okay with the Consume. And I guess the card draw could open up things like Go for the Eyes and other cheap cards I might get. I think Leap is very good for the consistent defense against the Guardian. I think Grumman Knob is the biggest, biggest issue here. Unfortunately, I actually think Cool Head is... So Loop is on sale, but I think Cool Head is actually better just to get Frost. 
I mean, what I could what I could do is get the loop, and I can find sources of frost another time. And I can get barrage or rebounds, and this could kind of balance out a little bit of my offense issues. And maybe I could use rebounds to help with the gunman up or something. Barrage is not that great with consume because you're losing orb slots. The rebounds are versatile enough. That's not really the relic I want to see, but you know what? It's all good. And so I think we should maximize our offense just in case of the Grumman knob. And I don't know if rebounds are worth an upgrade. I think Zap, in a way, is doing some stuff. I think so is Consume. So if you use Consume as one extra focus for your cracked core, and if you play Loop, then you're doing even more damage. So I think maybe Consume is the upgrade. Even though I don't have Frost. All right, here it is. Let's see. This might be a rip, but we have a lot of health to spare, so we'll see. We have a lot of health to spare. Lenny's probably going to carry, we'll see. We're doing 12 now and then 6 later, right? So we're doing... Going to get down to 22. Next turn he's going to be down to... Um, 16. And then 12 again. So we have lethal next turn, so we can defend. Guarantee lethal next turn. That wasn't too bad. That's an, that's an expected amount of damage to take from that guy with what my deck was doing, right? And I like that Cool Headed is, um, is offered now. So now we can get some Frost Coin. That's perfect. We have another Elite to handle. Luckily, I think we got through the worst Elite. And I think the Log of William no problem. I think the Triple Sentry is no problem either. Boot was useful as a what? A couple of times for you? Boot was interesting. I don't know how... Um, I don't know what they intended it for it to work with. I mean, for me, I had the boot and I was like, okay, I saw some... Sometimes I got more damage than I, than I expected. Consume is giving me the frost and the lightning. I think Buffer's great. I think Buffer's really good. He's really good against Laga Volan. It works really well with um, against the Triple Sentries as well. I think Buffer's a great power. I think Compile Driver... I'm trying to see how to utilize this. I think it makes sense more in Act 2 and Act 3 when your deck needs some card draw. I guess with offense attached to it. Or just card draw because you have like a, a variety of orbs. Let's say you have like some Plasma, some Frost, some Lightning. It's an interesting card. I'm going to do Buffer though. I like Strawberry. I actually like Strawberry a lot. I like having max HP. Alright. Our goal here is just to get the consume out. Unfortunately, we don't have orb slots, but because Capacitor's common and Capacitor's a little bit better, we should have an easier time feeding this. I might do a black buy here. Compile driver is really, really strong. I know, I mean, the, the, the amount of card draw plus, so it's doing damage and doing an insane amount of card draw. It looks very interesting. It looks very interesting. I wonder if I should put the frost on loop to have more consistent defense. I think so. Even I'm picking up a kiss, yeah. It makes chaos a little bit better, makes rainbow a little bit nicer, right? Has nice little things going on for it. Well, now that I have no lightning, I'm not doing consistent damage. I traded consistent damage for consistent block. Real time players dying. You talking about the stream? Yeah, I saw that. It's funny. You think compile is the best card draw for the BD effect except for zero cost cards? You think even more so than skim? I mean, it's kind of like 
It's probably as good as skim, but with the condition attached to it, right? I think skim is obviously very good. I think now we can put this on loop. Wasn't too bad. Data disc. Oh, that's fantastic. And now we got the capacitor offered. I mean, everything's coming together, guys. Data disc validates my choice to go orbs. I think now with the data disc, I'm going to go for another elite. I think I can handle it. For sure. I mean, Grumman, I'm still a little bit awkward, but... I'm getting offered to remove. I suppose I'll remove another strike. That makes it a little bit hard to kill Grumman Knob. I'm hoping that the frost and the lightning will carry me. I'm hoping it's not Grumman Knob at all, but we have buffer, right? So since we have buffer, we can upgrade the buffer. And buffer just kind of carries me against the Grumman Knob. It allows me to play skills willy-nilly. And let my lightning and frost do the rest of the work. Data Disc gives you plus one focus. So it's like Smooth Stone or like the Vajra but for focus. Since we're going to take damage anyways, I might as well zappy zappy. <clears throat> I don't know if we're going to kill this guy. We can try. I'm hoping we can. Nope, that sucks. I suppose we can consume and no, nah, there's no way. Unfortunate. So you can clearly see that my deck's lacking offense, which kinda makes me a little bit weary about the Grumman Knob. The only thing that makes me a little bit better about Grumman Knob is the is the um Is the buffer. Now it's interesting, we get offered a capacitor again, and you would argue this is probably a good time for capacitor to see how good it is, because we have consume. So we can start feeding the capacitor pretty pretty nicely with these capac uh feeding the consume the capacitors. The alternative is to get cold stem for more frost, because right now the only frost generation I have is cool headed, so I think we can trade the feeding aspect of uh consume and capacitor and get another source of frost. But if I'm feeding the consume more, then this single frost that I have is gonna be doing more work. So there's an argument to maybe get another capacitor. Because it doesn't clog up the cycle. Well, this is also damage for the Gremlin Nub, right? I don't, we got lucky. So here, this is probably the best elite for me. I can get all my powers out. This is not going to wake him up. Doesn't even do anything because it's not neutralized. Oh, he did wake up with loop. Very unfortunate. I think we got all our powers out anyway, so I'm not too worried. We don't have hologram, so we can't use the weak, but we do have buffer, so I think this is a good time to do rebound, consume. And I'll use both my buffer slots here, but by having consume play twice, I should be fine in the future with like cold snap or cool headed. I should be GG now. GG. It was a very really good X1. We got three elites. Blue Kane low, it's not bad. We got Doom and Gloom for the dark. I really like that. I like Leap for a more consistent defense. I think Doom and Gloom is going to be nice with the focus orb so we can get that scaling of the dark orb. I think because we have consume and two forms of frost, we're not too worried about consistent defense. Like, okay, it's nice to have things like Leap because it doesn't require setup. You just play it. But we already have one Leap. I think we have buffer to kind of buy some time. And once we have the consume with frost played once then we're already doing better with defense i think having one darkness could be good for the scaling and not to mention the aoe for act two i might just take the doom and gloom although there's an argument for leap here i think the fact that we have loop and focus makes darkness a little bit stronger as well see now i don't know if capacitor is even worth an upgrade over something like loop to get the passive orb twice this could be more damage this could be more defense the alternative is also to do, um, make zap, can you channel more orbs? I think loop is probably a better power. Capacitor is feeding consume for another more focus, which is not bad. I think loop is doing something more immediately. Let's see. This could be bad if we don't get the right cards. See, the thing is, I kind of like rebound cold snap. 
But I also like Rebound Consume. The thing is, if I do Rebound Consume, I'm not getting Frost, and then I'm not also proccing him. So, Rebound Cold Stuff gives me Frost. And then I could argue, I could play Capacitor now, and wait for Consume another time. So at least this gives me damage, right? It also gives me Frost again, and there's a chance I can proc him. And if not, at least I have some Frost. Oh, we have Buffer, so that's fine. I think we'd rather play Buffer Loop. What's the vertical Amplify? I think Amplify could be good. I, I just tried using it just like... I used it in a, a situation that probably wasn't the most appropriate. I think Amplify has more than enough power to justify... Like, I think there's a nice balance. Yes, it's the fact that it cycles feels kind of awkward because it becomes a curse. But if you use properly, Amplify is giving you enough... It's giving you a lot of value with the effect, so I think it's fine. I think Amplify makes more sense with, with Seek, for sure. I think Amplify makes more sense with... Um, strong powers you want to use it with. But Seek helps it out a lot, for sure. Some holograms help out a lot. Holograms can make it work. Mm, we're taking damage. We could avoid damage by double defending, but I think consume. Give me six, six extra block. So then I do this. I'm taking some damage, but this makes my scaling and my damage and my defense better for the next turn. And we have buffers, so right? We, we can we can go ahead and do this. Ah, uh, since I have buffer, I probably should have considered rebounding the consume. But it's, this is this should be fine. Oh, we have full defense anyways. I totally did the math wrong. That's 12. Whoops. I like having this on the front, right? So I get that loops, and then that should be GG. It limits me a little bit because now I can't do as much uh, cold snaps, but I already have enough consistent defense that it's not even a big deal. Matter of fact, I can just consume again just to get the dark scaling as much as possible. And dual cast is lethal. Anything is lethal at this point. Cool head is lethal. GG. Loving it. That's my... Uh, man, Dark Option Loop is... I mean, Loop is so amazing. We got Fairy in the Bottle. That's not bad. Not bad. I think... Bias Cognition is probably the play. Because Bias Cognition now... Well, this is funny. Because Core Surge works well Bias Cognition. But I think Bias Cognition makes a lot of sense with... What my deck's trying to do. Either it has Loop. And I can get a lot of scaling. A lot of defense. A lot of damage with Lightning. It helps me... Scale quicker, it helps me get quick bursts of defense if I need it. And hallway fights is fantastic. In boss fights, not so much, but if you can minimize the, the effects of the Ancient Pyre or Core Surge, then Bias Cognition is amazing. And Creative AI is a little slow, I'm not a really big fan of it. If I had Muffet Hand, maybe, but not, not in this situation. I think Bias Cognition is the play. Although I do want to try Core Surge. The problem with Core Surge right now is that I don't have any good reason to take it. I could, you can argue Core Surge works well with the Chosen for the artifacts. And it works well with Spheric Guardian for the Frail, right? But I think Bias Cognition is still the play. We get offered a Gold Relic. We get offered our Energy Relic, but it's Ectoplasm, which I'm not too happy about. But I think it's better than nothing. Mm, I guess I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. What is up, Rabbit? How you doing, man? Yeah, Ravenous. Now your crate was just hanging around. What works at Ascension 8 and 7? What work oh, so Astil. What works is consistent defense, scaling, like limit break, demon form, shrug it off, true grits plus um, barricade decks. If you can get barricade decks, funeral pain is pretty good, although it got nerfed. I don't know what to can tell you works. I think what works is just making sure you have consistent defense, a way to do damage. Handle uh, Disarm Plus to mitigate some stuff in Act 2 and multi-hits. Make sure you have a way to scale. If you don't have a way to scale, make sure you have a way to do damage, right, consistently. You can do things like Rampage scaling in a small deck. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can win in Ascension 7. Just uh, keep playing and see what's making you lose. We can... I don't, we can't avoid... There's a force to lead, right? So we're going to do the Elite as late as possible and we get a Late Shop. The late shop's a little unfortunate because we do have ectoplasm. 
But if I want to get an early shop, then I have to s do an early lead. And I don't, that's not probably a risk I want to take. So let's just go this path. What's up, Lordy? How you doing? I like Core Surge a lot too. I really, I do like it a lot. I think Core Surge is fantastic. I, I want to play, or play around with it. So I don't know what's better. Like Buffer gives me some insurance, but Bias Cognition is giving me more scaling so I can potentially end this fight much sooner. I think Buffer's probably safer. I think our skeleton's gonna be fine anyways with Consume. So we could take the buffer hit or we can just defend and save two buffer hits. I think the passive is probably not as important. Alright. Let's get the frost going. Um, we're gonna lose the buffer anyway, so let's not get any more dazed. So now dual cast is lethal. I think loop, loop is fine, because loop is gonna give us so that I believe cold snap is lethal next turn. Pretty sure Cold Snap is lethal next turn. GG. Okay. That works. Stack Steam Bear Axic. I like the Axic because I can actually, you know, because we're using Consumer, we're evoking pretty easily. I was going to say the Axic is nice to get the Dark where I want it with Loop or use Dark. Like, be able to evoke the Dark in a way that's controllable with Axe Kick. I think Stack for defense is probably the best play. Although you could argue by the time stack is useful, I'm already potentially having frost. So I'm not going to need the defense from stack as much. But it's still probably better than axe kick. Let's see where the boss is. Mm. So, you know, the champ is going to be really easy, guys. It's going to be a huge pushover. Scale up the dark. Potentially, hopefully get, hopefully, get a loop on it. Maybe I'll upgrade capacitors before I get there so I can have a little bit more room with frost. So I can have more consistent defense. And it should be a pretty easy fight. What happened reloading, what'd you say? <laughs> Wait, so you, you're in a tournament now? You're going, you're going big time? Damn, reloading. You know you're doing it like that. Yeah, so it's good, important to know certain things like that. Yeah, so if you, the going into Hexaghost with more HP makes him, his first attack do more damage because it goes off the current HP. So you can play around that and maybe get upgrades in situations where you probably weren't thinking to get upgrades. Uh, know what your deck can, like, know what elites you're, you could potentially face and how to best, like, mitigate whatever the elite might offer. So try not to take too many elite fights that you're not really comfortable taking or not sure if you can beat or not. So this is the situation where like the dark orbs are already lethal. I want to get them evoked, right? So fishing would be useful, but I think Axic is also useful in that situation. Oh, that's also useful. We get cold we get capacitor again, so this is gonna be even more food for the consume. We gotta wonder whether or not the tempo of playing capacitor, like if I have a hand with double capacitor, is that gonna affect me negatively? Am I gonna take a lot of damage to get that out? Is it worth it? As opposed to another frost generation cold snap. It's Cold Snap Plus to be on uh, as well, right? I think we do another capacitor. Although, yeah, we do another capacitor. I'm gonna refuse. Get rid of the blue. You know what? I'll get rid of the blue candle. I'm gonna do it. I'd rather get options like Seek or Core Surge. All right, so we got the dark where we want it. Gotta get a loop out, and we gotta get a buffer out as well. All right, so we could do capacitor consume cool headed. Do I have lethal here, right? So this is gonna be what? 14 plus 13, not quite enough. Let's do this first. I'm comfortable with this. I'm comfortable with that. Ambassador for the meme. Oh, that's a lot of damage. So that's the... Yeah, that's a lot of damage. 
we, we really like buffer at this point. Dual cast, you know, maybe dual cast would be great. Right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna weaken you. We're gonna do bias cognition loop. We're getting a lot of days. Oh my god. We have lethal if we get dual cast, so... I'm gonna just buffer. And I hope that I draw dual casts. Because there's a lot of dates coming up, but there's a chance that we're gonna get... There we go, GG. I took probably more damage than I need to take there. I think Recursion's not bad, so Recursion allows me to nurse the Dark Orb a little bit longer. And butter up the champ, right? So I can use Recursion to butter up the champ. And then put the Frost in the front for when I need more defense. Vice versa. I think Recursion's probably great. The Recursion would have been great in that fight as well, right? And now I just gotta worry about making sure I have consistent defense, because now I'm adding cards that are not doing that much. Right? Like, Bias Cognition is not doing that much by itself. The stack is unreliable. Capacitor, two of them are not doing that much by themselves. I have some damage with Cold Snap and Doom and Gloom. And now I'm adding Recursion, so it can get to the point where I'm not consistently defending, where I have to, I'm too, too reliant on Frost, so I should be careful a little bit. With that in mind, I think maybe we should upgrade the Cool Header for card draw. Maybe make recursion free so it doesn't hurt us too much. I like the card draw though, that allows me to get into my defense if I need it. I like this being free as well. That's that's great. That's great. It's still that's. Uh, are you playing silent? If you're playing silent, go for some shifts. Cloak and dagger, your best friend. You don't even need accuracy, but if you find accuracy, sure, you can take it, but get a lot of Cloak and Daggers. Cloak and Dagger Plus is really nice. Try to find infinite blades. Sometimes a um, Storm of Steel could be useful. Ninja Scroll is not bad. Think, like, add a Slice. Make sure you have some good card draw. Make sure you have good de defense along the way. Like Add things like Malaise. Add a Footwork. You know? You'll figure it out. Finisher is great with Shuriken. I think uh, Skewer is really good with uh, Shuriken. These are all great cards. I think flechettes, flech, flechettes is really nice. Okay, I think we're gonna upgrade the cool edit here. Okay, we gotta look at what what the problem of our deck is right now. Our deck right now is relying on consume frost. Let's do the cool edit. I think we should upgrade recursion as well. We might just rest though, just so we're a little bit full life and going to this elite. And this would be a good test to see how we're gonna do. Not really the greatest turn, although I do like. Rebounding, go for the eyes. You could argue uh, rebounding stack is probably better. I think having a weaken is going to be useful. I mean, I could do dual cast now, right? To take... Prevent some of this damage. But I also want to keep the frost there. So when I get the... Consume, I'm not dying. I probably should use a focus pot. I mean, I... my deck is a little slow. Yeah, there we are. I'll do this. Um, so that's another situation where, like, uh, see, that's why capacitor is kind of awkward, right? Because I used capacitor, but it didn't do absolutely anything for me. And I, that's probably a problem of my deck, but it's also a problem of... Okay, so there's a lot of things we want to do. We want to play the buffer. Because we don't want to die, right? And if we play the buffer, we're going to hope that the lightning hits the guy in the front, which is unlikely. But if I play buffer and bias cognition, then at least I'm getting 14 blocks, so I won't die. I want to play almost all of these cards, right? So I think we play Buffer Bias Cognition. Alright, so we're fine. Now, this fight should be easier. So, Consume's giving me 18 block plus 5. I'm probably going to start... I'm going to proc my... My fairy, fairy in the bottle, right? 
Which sucks, because now we're going to leap very, very low life. I don't have loop out, right? Well, since I'm proccing the fairy in the bottle, I might as well strike. This is a situation where, like, if I can get Dark to the front, it would be fantastic. This is another situation where sometimes having overflights makes Dark a little bit harder to use. I mean, I could actually die here. No, I can't. I'm fine. Alright, a little unfortunate, no fair in the battle, we go on to an elite, very low in life, we get offered Equilibrium, Overclock Machine Learning, okay, Equilibrium can be nice, because it gives me block, right, and what I could do is hold on to some of the powers I may want to play, but I don't have the tempo to play it, right, it's just, it is a nice block card, it's a little expensive, <sighs> Machine Learning... I can't really afford to play it on the first turn. I do have Anchor, actually. So Anchor could help me play Machine Learning. But it, I would have to get the upgrade. Right? So Anchor will help me play it. I think we do Equilibrium. I'd rather it be like a Glacier. I'm going to rest for sure. Hope we don't get our ass kicked here. Give me like a Mango? Eh. This could be a bad fight, too. I think Rebound Consume is pretty nice, actually. If I can find capacitor, that'd be fantastic. Yikes. Yikes. We can hold on to the stack, right? That's perfect. I know, they didn't work well with Capacitor decks, I know. So I think I... The problem is... I like Dark Orbs, but then Capacitor makes it a little awkward. So that's something I have to... <laughs> come to terms with. I think we do Doom Gloom because we want to get the Dark going. Bias Cognition is not bad either. I think the weakness is really nice as well. Next year we have double capacitor, which is a little scary. So I don't know if I want to get rid of my frost actually. Because double capacitor is coming up. And that's not very promising. So I think we do the weaken just because next turn I'm gonna be vulnerable and I had double capacitor. And it starts not to get the frost. I mean the doom and gloom. I suppose I have buffer, actually. You know what? I was wrong. I had buffer. I was actually fine. I was 100% fine to play Bias Cognition there. Curse is lethal. Okay. This could be really bad. Let's hope that we're fine. I think Recycle, okay. That gives me energy gain. Uh, I don't think it's really good in that situation. I think we would rather have Creative AI or maybe have more card draw. I'll do Leap. I'm hoping this Elite doesn't kick my ass. Okay. We have Anchor for this fight. Let's do the Focus Pot. Alright, so I think we do Bias Cognition, Doom and Gloom Leap. It's... I'm going to start quickly scaling down, but hopefully the dark scales up quickly, and then if I get one single Frost, the Frost is doing more. The alternative is to do... I guess we could do Leap, Bias Cognition, Recursion, Capacitor. I think Doom and Gloom is important to get that... That dark scaling. All right, this is gonna be rough.
This is a situation where I probably don't want to play Capacitor, because I want to be get the dark to be able to, uh... Well, Capacitor's going to help with the consume, right? I'm about to get vulnerable. Hmm. This could be rough. Because I, I drew to dual cast now, and I need dual cast next turn. And also, this guy's lower, so the direction I'm focus him. This is, this is not looking good. I think we do dual cast now. We're getting very low. He's not to 14. I, we might be dead next turn. I don't have hologram. And that's the problem, right? If I actually kept... I guess I can draw into buffer, right? I'll just say that if I kept... If I didn't use Capacitor, then Consume could make it so that I actually can play Dark now. And then kill the guy in the back. Let's see though. Maybe we draw Buffer? Eh. We got Stack. Uh, it's not too bad. I guess we, if we do Consume Stack, so we're getting what? An extra 6 blocks. We're looking at 9, 9, 18 plus Stack. It's going to be doing 14. It's 32. It's 32... We're looking at 39 damage, so we're going to die if we do that. If I defend, defend, I'm getting one more block, but I'm getting two more for stack, right? So it's going to be 15 stack plus 10, 25 plus 12, it's 37. I live very, with 2 HP. I live with 2 HP, unfortunately. What's up? What's up, Cheese Nibbles? How you doing? Yeah, Consume's not doing it for me. 18. Yep, Defend, Defend, Stack is the play. Thirty-nine. Thirty-seven, yeah, we live. <sighs> this is bad, because now we're getting wounds, and I don't think we got it. I don't think... Okay, Buffer helps. Buffer helps a lot. Yikes. You know, if we could actually save one of the buffers, that'd be fantastic. So that saves one of the buffers. I can't save both, can I? I don't think I can save both, right? So that's already 19. I can't save both, so I might as well do lightning. Okay, dual cast is still going to be really clutch if I can get it. Mmm, I think we're dead. Let me see. I can block the first two hits with Equilibrium. And then the buffer covers the next one. Holding on some way somehow. Dual cast, please. Okay. Doom and Gloom. And then Cold Snap is killing guy in the front. And then I'm also getting more Frost, right? Okay, let's see what we can do. Doom and Gloom Cold Snap. I, you know, honestly, I wish I could do Doom and Gloom Cold Snap and kill this guy with both of those things, but I'm weakened, and then the, the Dark would kill the guy in the back, but beggars can't be choosers. I think what we do is Doom and Gloom Cold Snap stack. That's the best way. So we have 9 block with Cold Snap plus 5 block from the stack. It's 14. I think we're dead anyways, because they're doing... Yeah, I think we're dead anyways. We're doing 16 out of 14 block. Plus 2. I'm dead exactly. Kill two guys. So if, what I could do is... You're right. So I could do... Doom and Gloom. Strike, Cold Snap. Or Doom and Gloom, Rebound, Cold Snap. And kill both the guys. It's true. And then I won't die. I guess that's the play, right? So I'm taking 7 damage. I have to do... Doom and Gloom. Rebounds. Cold Snap. Then evoke the dark that way.
Man. I don't wish upon anybody. Elite. Oof. Yikes. Okay. Self repair might be good, right? So self repair helps me get back some life for the champ. The thing is, the champ is gonna be pretty pretty much a pushover. Because once we get the chaos, so we get the dark scale and get the frost up, we're not gonna take too much damage. You like the dark scale, the champ's gonna be a pretty easy fight. And I'm saying that I might die, right? But I'm pretty sure the champ's gonna be an easy fight. I think self repair. I can't believe I made it out alive either. That was crazy, right? I think self repair is a great power. It's not gonna help with the boss. And if you think about it, we already have a lot of cards that are not doing anything by themselves too much. That self repair makes my defense a little awkward. Because I already have two capacitors. The buff, the buffer's fine. The recursion, the bias cognition. Bias cognition, I probably don't wanna play against the boss right away. The loop. I mean, we are getting into a place where it's more consistent defense, but still not quite there. So I think the self repair is a little awkward, but I still really like. The ability to, to heal. Eh, let's take it. I'm gonna take the heal. I mean, so I could choose a card that could be... I'm taking the heal. <laughs> taking the heal. Okay, this is gonna be the, one of the only shots we can get. No more gold after this. We finally got a hologram. That helps a lot. I think recursion is great. We already have one, though. So I think hologram's gonna be amazing. I might just upgrade that and not even rest. Um, we already have go for the eyes, and hologram can help us play that when we need it, right? I think we remove a strike. That helps us get more consistent defense, helps us get some stuff we actually need. Yeah, I think we remove a strike here. I mean, you could argue plated armor. We already have one plated armor. I think we remove a strike for sure. The lock pot could save me, so if I, if I don't want to heal, if I don't want to rest, then maybe black pot can save me. I'm going to do remove a strike. Now... We went through the slavers. I think the other two leads are probably a little bit easier, but I'm definitely not going to mess around with that. Omomori, Tiny Chest. You know what? Tiny Chest is not that helpful. Omomori could be helpful. I could rest for 23, give me insurance, or I could upgrade the hologram, which I think an upgrade hologram is going to do a lot of good for me because I can bring back the defense that I need. I can bring back the weakens. I could maybe play a card that I missed, get more frost if I need it, consume again. I think with the buffer and the plated armor, I think we're okay. I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to upgrade the hologram. Now, guys, I don't recommend to do this at home. Do not recommend this. We get the darkness ASAP. Now, I'm conflicted because I want to get this out of the cycle, but I want to get the dark ASAP and I want to get consume ASAP. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. All right. Got the weaken, right? It's the capacitor. It's cool headed. Alright, this is perfect. Alright, so here's what I want to do. I want to do equilibrium. So the next one I can play loop and then recursion. What that does is that puts dark on the loop spot exactly where I want it to be. It's exactly where I want it to be. That's actually ideal. So now we can do loop, recursion. Dark is going to be looped. I want it to stay there for the rest of the fight. Get some more frosts. And I'll tell you this. I know it seems funny. We already won the fight. The fight is over. Mark my words. It's already won. I could do bias cognition. Because you could argue, okay, bias cognition with loop in particular. I'm going to be scaling so much with the darkness that it's not going to matter that I'm scaling down. But what's going to happen is that it makes me defend less consistently. So you got to see, do I even need the bias cognition? Am I really that push for time? I don't think so. So I'm going to rebound the leap just to have that again. And I'm going to go, I'm going to hold off on the bias cognition. I think with loop, we're already scaling a pretty decent amount. And if anything, we have consume and capacitor, which, by the way, we just got again. We got capacitor and consume. SGG. I think it's a play buffer, but you know what? I think this frost is more important. We got it again. Got buffer this time. All right, now it's, now it's like GG. We can play Bias Cognition now, because now Dual Cast is lethal, right? So we can go ahead and play Bias Cognition. It's 233. It's insane. I'll play this. We could do Recursion just to butter him up, but again, Dual Cast is lethal, so let's just chill out. 
290. Okay. Uh, we'll just do this. Sure. He's a pushover, guys. The champ's a pushover. They gotta buff the champ for the defects. Ooh, we got the course. Ooh, this is crazy. Um, ah, this is crazy. Oh, you think it's capacitor? Instead of getting three orb slots, it should upgrade to zero. That's really smart. I think that's really great. Instead of it being two, three, it should be two and then upgrade to zero cost. That'd be really nice. So this is great. Corsairs works really well with bias cognition. Yes, the artifact makes the bias cognition negative effects go away completely. Amplify could be useful with things like buffer, loop, bias cognition, self-repair. I mean, it has uses, right? Because I have equilibrium, I can probably play Amplify a little bit more consistently. I can get double buffer, double loop. But double loop at that point, it's like not that useful. Double buffer is very useful. Double self-repair is, is useful. I think Seek... I wish I had Seek and Amplify, right? So Seek, what Seek is doing for me is allowing me to get what I need out, out of the way, right? So maybe like get the Consume and the Frost up and going so I can have the defense already out of the way. I could probably do Buffer if I need it. I mean, there's, the Seek is very flexible. The only problem with Seek is that I need to be upgraded. I mean, I don't need to be upgraded, but it would be nice that it's upgraded. And Core Surge works with Bias Cognition, which... I mean, I have yet to try the Core Surge. And maybe I should just take it for Bias Cognition. But I like Seek getting me set up quicker. Yes, it ne negates the, the debuff of the Bias Cognition. I still think Seek is the best play here. Because once I get the Consume and the Frost out, it's like, eh, we're not really worried about anything. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, we get offered Snekowai. Snekowai is interesting, right? So, like, we already have four energy, and what Snekowai does for me is just funny. Snekowai gives me seven cards a turn. It gives me card draw, which I think this deck could benefit from. Not to mention, it also makes it so that Consume... Mm, will probably be cheaper most of the time. And it helps me get more complete turns because of seven cards a turn, and then I can probably get out my capacitors easier. I mean, my deck does have a kind of a low cost. Not really. I mean, I do have some expensive cards. A lot of it is one cost, but we do have things like Buffer, Consume, Equilibrium. But then there's things like Seek, which may not be free. And then there's things like Go for the Eyes and stuff like that. I don't know if I even need to do the Snekowai. You could argue I could do Philosopher's Stone. It gives me five energy a turn, but it makes them stronger. But then that would mean that I would have to get set up sooner. I guess we could try Slink away. I don't know. It's true. Other other debuffs, other debuffs can before I get buys off, right? So that's what's... Course Surge is not guaranteed to hit the, um, the bias cognition. And not to mention, I mean, that's not a bad thing because sometimes the artifacts will help you against things that might be more impactful, like Frail. Uh, I mean, obviously, having the focus is nice, but in hallway fights, the focus, the negative focus is not as important because you're going to end the fight within three turns anyways. Vice Cognition is going to give you that power, right? No step on Sneko. You guys don't like the Sneko, huh? I think Sneko's interesting. I think the seven card draw can allow me to do... So the fact that I have Ectoplasm makes me a little bit better. To, it makes me feel better about doing it because I have full energy. It's a little bit more flexible. I'm going to take Sneko away. It takes like a while. I think beast is, yeah, beast is the safest. You get more potions. That can be a lot of different things. I like Snekowai. Okay, now guys, if I lose, it's because of the Snekowai. We'll blame it on the Snekowai, okay? That's a nice way to... I think the Dono Decca... My decks can struggle a little bit against Dono Decca. So, I will have a... If I can get my Frost out, then I can consistently defend a little bit against what they're doing. It's important for me to get Dark out ASAP so that I can scale that up, get that in the loop position, and then try to get a big dual cast to kill him. But meanwhile, while we're doing all that, we got to make sure we have our Frost up so we can consistently defend. It could be, could be rough. Okay, we'll see what Snekko's doing for us. I already like it. I'm already loving it. I mean, Snekko Eye works really well with Hologram. Unfortunately, we only have one Hologram. Got dark looped already, right? 
It's exactly where we want it to be. Bias cognition. Mmm. I mean, I kind of. I guess we do recursion. I suppose we do consume. I mean, it's gonna be lethal anyways, guys. It's gonna be lethal next turn. More, <clears throat> most likely. I just need to get Dark Evoked. There it is. GG. I'm happy. I'm happy with Snake Alive. But obviously that was a great... I think Skim is interesting. So Skim is giving me more card draw, which could be pretty nice with Snake Y. It may not be one cost, but I think having options like that, the ability to potentially draw 10 cards a turn, that's not bad. Let's go for it. It's not a bad relic. I mean, I'm not going to gain any more gold. That gets rid of one of the artifacts. Helps in hallway fights. I mean, look at this. It's great. Let's get this out. Let's get that out. Ooh, actually, let's be careful before we do that. Let's go ahead and get biased out. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. I actually don't know if Capacitor was the best play there. I don't think Capacitor is the best play there at all. I mean, now, now, now it beckons me to get rid of Dark with, like, Recursion Dual Cast. Not that we're worried about this fight. I might be chance to proc Runic. Yeah, I might get Runic here. If I can get Runic, that's five energy. That's fantastic with Sneko. Actually, Runic would be fantastic. We are, we're gonna, if we don't take any damage, we're, we got it. So I think Recursion is fine just because we want to get Dark. Not only in the loop position, but ready to get dual casted. Multicast would be great because multicast doesn't matter whether or not... It's random cost or not. Okay, so we have buffer here. Dual cast is doing some work here. Maybe I could have held on to a little bit longer. I probably should have held on a little bit longer. Whoops, that was a mistake. Oh, thank God for buffer. Never mind. We're fine. Oh, we used Bias Cognition, didn't we? Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I didn't think about that for a sec. We used Bias Cognition. Huh. Well, Dark's luckily gonna kill us, so is Lightning. We're fine. I just got rid of Rudy Jackie Geezer, and that was really bad. Stack, fantastic. Let's do it. Rare Relic. It's kind of ballsy of me. We got Seek immediately. So we could Seek the Consume, or... I mean, we're taking damage, right? So maybe what we want to do is Seek the Doom and Gloom, get the Dark going. And that's probably the best bet. I don't like the fact that I'm going to take damage, but... Because you probably want to play Leap here, right? And since we're drawing 7 cards a turn, it's not like we need to use Seek. Maybe we'd be better off just doing like... Hmm. You're going to sit back and lurk? Hey. Yeah, I could have I could have taken no damage there. It's fine. Runic Hedra would have been useful here. That was my bad. It's all, it happens. I guess he can get me my cold snaps out. Cold snaps not bad. I think consume is probably powerful. I think go for the eyes is not bad. Go for the eyes gives the weaken for three turns after this. Rebound cold snap is not bad. It does damage, but also gives me frost. The loop is interesting. Equilibrium is interesting because equilibrium allows me to hold on to these cards for another time. Even though these are not that impactful, the stack is pretty nice. 
I think we do consume. Uh, I don't think so, actually. I think we do rebound cold snap. And we're going to hope that we draw into consume at another time. I suppose we do bias cognition. The fifth relic, a plus one focus. We want to play consume. We also, I mean, we have buffer, so buffer is going to take care of this guy's damage, and then the fight should be easier. I use Bias Cognition again, so again, we're now we're going negative scaling. It's kind of bad. I guess we do buffer. Let's see what Skimmy offers us. Mm, not the greatest. It's really not the greatest here. It's kind of a rough fight. Been watching a lot of your YouTube videos before be lately, but haven't been able to catch the stream live. Glad I finally did. Thank you so much for the entertainment. Keep it up. Greetings from Mexico. Hey, thank you for the 250 conch. I'm glad you've uh, enjoyed the videos, man. Thank you for the, the, the tip and for the bit uh, for the money. Thank you so much, man. I'm glad you enjoyed the content. Greetings to Mexico. Hola, bienvenido. Oh, wh welcome to the last stream, dude. Mm, I'm trying to think what we want to do here. So, equilibrium. Hologram is giving me full block. And what what could I hologram here? I could hologram something that's one cost. So it could be a zap just to get more damage. Doom and Gloom gives me the dark. Potentially kills the guy in the front. And then I could do equilibrium. That take a little bit of damage. But maybe, maybe that's okay to take a little bit of damage. Just to get the dark out, right? Because next year we have cool headed and stack. Maybe that wasn't the best play. Should done stack first. Ah, right, we get a ray of relic off of this. So you know what? If I take damage, I take damage. Not a big deal. Um, I want to get dark to the front. I want to hold on self repair because I can. I want to get that healing in. I'm hoping we can get a kill here. Somehow, some way. We're so, so close to lethal. If I can just get rid of this lightning, I can do dual cast. Mm. This is rough. I think stack is the best play. I don't know how we're going to kill this guy without getting that... Like getting rid of this dual cast now, right? So then I could go ahead and... I suppose recursion and zap is lethal. If I can get recursion zap next turn, we have lethal. But now we, get, we couldn't play self-repair. I mean, this is a little awkward. I'm going to go ahead and say and put on record that... I think... This could have been avoided if I just didn't mess up the fight before, and I would have had the Dodecahedron. I messed that up. I think Glacier is really good. Glacier gives me the frost going, and it helps fill up the capacitors and gives me a lot of defense. I think Multicast works really well with the Dark Orb, and it's going to be extremely good against Dono and Deco because ideally, what you want to do is just do a big Multicast on Dono and Deco and try to kill him. As fast as possible. So there's two ways. There's two things I can do here. Glacier is obviously really good. It can give me consistent defense, and I can still scale up a dark and have that to help us defend. Multicast. I think my defense is pretty decent, and then once I have multicast, I can unleash the looped, focused, improved dark orb, and end the fight right then and there. The glacier helps me get there. Tough choice, right? Tough choice. Glacier helps me get there. Multicast is rare. You could argue that glacier is a little bit harder to find. 
I think, okay, I think here's what, I'm gonna do Glacier, but I think what we could do is, I'm gonna look for something like Blinds here. Dark Shackles is interesting, okay, we like why these are a little bit worse, actually. Just came to realize. Manus doesn't really work that well for Snekawai. I think Bandage Up can heal me, but... Uh, I suppose Bandage Up has a little bit of value because of Runic of Decahedron. But it may not be free, right? So this is kind of awkward to play. I'll take one. I'll, I'll take Dark Shackles, because Dark Shackles would be good. But, the, you know, for the most part, this might mess up my deck. Oh, this is great. I have to fight an elite, so I could rest. I think, what's a good upgrade for me? I think another good upgrade for me would be Seek to get that out, right? One problem with Seek is... Mm, is Seek a... I think Skin, like card draw, like Skin would be pretty good. I think Seek is probably one of the better upgrades. Seek and self repair. self repair gives me more sustain, but that's not good for the boss fight. Equilibrium gives me more block. Things like Leap and Glacier give me more block. Bice Cognition is not bad. I think we do Seek. Although maybe you could say I should rest so I can get running through Decahedron. That's Singing Ball, okay. The Giant Head, okay, we gotta get Dark Orb on loop ASAP. I'm not gonna do Bice Cognition just yet. We wanna get Dark Orb out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skim again now. There's a chance we find... Eeh. I should have got rid of Dark Shackles because that's going to be bad for my cycle. Okay, we need to find Dark ASAP and put it on loop, otherwise we're not going to scale up enough. Buffer's going to help a lot in this fight. There's the buffer. We don't want to use buffer just yet. In fact, I think we want to do Equilibrium because we want to get Consume out as well. But I want to get Consume... Here's what I could do. I could do Equilibrium. Dual casts. Play the buffer, right? My my plan is to do consume next turn. I have to get the darkness out, actually, damn. Luckily we got equilibrium again. So we can hold on to stack. And then we could do rebound. No, we can't even do rebound consume. This sucks. See, I wanna make sure that he doesn't hit my buffer, so I think we want to do things like. Go for the ice cold snap. But we gotta get the consume out. The consume is too expensive. I should probably let it go so I can get a cheaper consume because I want to get it out for the focus, right? So I don't have to waste my buffer right away. I suppose this is a good time to get bias cognition out. And if I do that, what I can do is bias cognition, cold snap. Dual cast. Consume. Ah, man, this is rough. Also, upgrading dual cast is not good. It's because of, uh, yeah, exactly. You can probably already but it's not going like to randomize the class. Yeah, they become weak. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Do you want to Vice Cognition's fight? Well, here's the thing Vice Cognition is going to start scaling down. It's true. Consume is really what I want to be playing. I suppose I can do Consume now and take and lose one buffer. And we can't get the weaken. Uh, maybe dual cast is giving me enough to save the buffer. Let me see. 18 plus another 18. 36. Yeah, we can save it just exactly. We can save the buffer exactly. And then now we got the focus for the dark. We got a loop. The loop is fantastic. The loop is fantastic. I know you probably want to... Like, full defend to save buffer, but I think loop is going to help a lot for the dark. That's that's what we need to get out. Also cleans up my cycle. It's unfortunate, right? Because... Like, stack... Is a pretty good defense. And self repair. we gotta get a cycle as well. We gotta get this out of the cycle. I fucked that up. I have to do loop. I have to do loop. We're one point off the buffer. Unfortunate. Uh, this should help a lot, though, right? So we got cool headed. We have one more buffer here. I think we want a hologram cool headed again so we can get the dark looped. I don't mind equilibrium here. 
Actually, I do mind equilibrium here. I want to do consume again. I want to get that dark skilling as much as possible. It's awkward just because using Glacier is obviously really good defense, but now I don't have recursion. I suppose stack stack is the play. Well, we want to get self-prepared out of the cycle, right? So let's see how much, how much we have. We have... 36 plus 12. I would lose the buffer. I'd rather not. Dual cast is not quite enough here. We Honestly, we need recursion. Not, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. We're using buffer here. That's really sad. It's really, really sad. I think we gotta do recursion. Consume at this point. I honestly need Frost at the front, but I also need the scaling. This is kind of unfortunate. Do I just unleash it now? So that's 100 and, that's 300 damage of hologram, right? That's 300 damage of dual cast. That's 300 damage of dual cast, and what I can do is Doom and Gloom again. And what I, but now that I put the, the Frost on the loop, so then I can still scale up with the Dark on the back, but at least now that this is looped, I can consistently defend. And then I can always bring the Dark to the f front again with Glacier. So if I just unleash for 300 now, it's not bad. I could also just keep waiting. And if I keep waiting, we're going to have guaranteed lethal. But it probably is not a bad thing to do dual cast now. Get 300 damage in. And then try to scale a new one. We can hold on to a hologram. Maybe we do weaken again. Well, how much damage? We're taking damage. We're taking damage again, unfortunately, but... I uh, will weaken. For the next turn. We got double stack. We want to find recursion, right? That's perfect. I wish it was a little less expensive, but... That gives me a little bit more leeway. I can play this finally. Okay. Now we, just got, now we can use Glacier and be okay with it. Cold Snap, we can use Cold Snap and be okay with it as well. So now Cold Snap gives me a lot of block. I meant to do... I didn't mean to do... That. I wanted to do Cool Headed, it's fine. So yeah, so usually things like Glacier and Cold, cold Snap are amazing. Glacier's fantastic. And I believe we have Lethal Dual Casts. Alright, paid off. Wasn't too bad. I mean, this was kind of a rough fight, but our consistent defense came through. We got Creative AI, Recycle, Double Energy. He doesn't scale past 70 damage, so it looks like he does, but he never—he actually doesn't scale past 70. Recycle? Uh, Recycle's interesting with Snake Away, right? Because it can give you energy, but then it also thins out your deck. And by thinning out your deck, you can more reliably get into Recursion, ideally, and things like Cold Snap, Glacier, all that stuff. I think it's kind of awkward. Although, with Snake Away, Recycle's interesting. It really is. If you're drawing seven cards a turn, and perhaps with Cardrol like Skim, you can probably get more done. 
it also is getting rid of some stuff that you may not like. So it's like a high cost strike or let's say the zap is not going to really feel like you need it. It makes it so you have cleaner deck, I suppose. I'm not sure how I feel about it. So it was funny, Creative AI doesn't work with Snuck White because Creative AI, you're not drawing the powers. They're just placed into your hands, right? So they don't actually become random. Yeah, I think we're saying it could be garbage itself, exactly. I'm gonna skip. If we run into transit, you think, I, think it would be trouble? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Rebound is interesting. I think I haven't been using Rebound that much. Boss Cognition, you can argue, okay, it's... It's not good in boss fights because of the negative focus, but you can play around that, and I still think that it could be a burst of defense where you might need it. Rebound, I've been using it. I, I'm sad to see it go. An ancient pot would be ideal. If I get an ancient pot, that would be fantastic. Yeah, you get cheaper AI, but I don't I don't know. What happens in this event if you don't have a power skill attack? Oh, so it just it shows nothing. So it, it will take a attack or a skill, and if you don't have a power, then you won't have anything in power slot, I'm pretty sure. Glacier is you know pretty much gonna kill that guy in the back. There's a chance that he dies. I mean, I have the explosive pot if I need it. I don't even know if I want to do Glacier. I mean, the alternative is to do, like, Leap Consume Stack. It's not quite good enough, is it? Wow, how lucky. How lucky is that? Beautiful. Gorgeous. And for the last light, the transit guy, ah, we'll see, we'll see. Well, if I do suffer pair, ah, I'm one off of recursion, that sucks. I'm one off recursion, man. I'm sorry, I'm one off runic through Dekinidron. I could kill this guy now, and then find a way to kill that guy. I don't know if I want to waste the dark, I mean, I don't think it matters. I can't kill him. What am I talking about? It's actually perfect. It's actually perfect. Bandage up gives me the... I forgot I had bandage up. <laughs> okay, bandage up is too expensive, unfortunately. Eesh. I can't kill that guy. Damn. I suppose I could do the explosive pot if I need it. We have... 17. 24 block. Hmm. So I'm gonna do this. We take 24 block, right? And we could do zap and hope that hits the guy on the left. I could just do buffer. Should be fine. Hey, what's up, Rox Gaming? Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Glad you liked the YouTube content. Welcome to the live stream, dude. I'm doing good, Bottle. I'm doing pretty good, man. How are you doing? I think it's used bandage up. Uh, we get another loop or equilibrium plus. Equilibrium plus is not bad because it's probably gonna be cheaper, right? And it it allows me to hold my hand with Sneko Eye. So it, Sneko Eye sometimes you don't want to hold your hand because the card cost might be too much. 
But sometimes you may want to play a lot of things and you can't play them. But if you want to play a lot of things, then that means they're free. If you can't play them, that means they're free. And at that point, you don't even need Equilibrium. But there may be times where okay, it's like two costs and you want to play it, but you don't have the... Maybe it's okay. The alternative is Loop again, and then that makes it so my Dark Orb or my Frost are doing some crazy... Not only am I getting crazy defense, we're also getting a lot of scaling. But I think we do Equilibrium here. And it's transient, isn't it? Ah, we got lucky. We could seek... It's, it's awkward. So I want to bandage up so it, while it's free and I can get the Runic Dodecahedron. And I want to get the loop out. Only problem with that is... I actually should have kept the zero cost defense. That was a mistake. That was a huge mistake. That was a huge mistake. Yikes. Okay, let's see what happens here. This might be, happy, this might be the time where I have to... Um, Use the explosive pot. And so, yeah, we might have to use explosive pot. Let's see where this hits, I suppose. Let's do this. Mm. Dual cast is expensive. Let's do this. So if it hits one of the guys on the left, perp. Wow. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I want to play Dark Shackles, so that's perfect for the weekend. Sorry, for the negative nine. And now we're pretty much, we can, we can maintain. We can maintain, beautiful. I want to, I want to have this, this is gonna be uh, so good. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I hope it lasts a long time. God damn it. My deck's actually... You know what? Now that I realize it, my deck's not doing that much without Dark. Timmy's second text, do the same amount of damage to the minion, that's why they die. But you got... Exactly. Exactly. That's true, Slim Shady. That's very true. That's actually... 100% true. If you have Apparition, they don't... They only... They don't reflect that much damage back, so they don't die. Um... Right, yeah, we actually don't have a lot of damage in this deck at all. Dark Orb, like, we only have one way to do damage, and that's Dark Orb. And we only have one way of Dark, like one source of Dark. It's actually, I gotta nurse that Dark like it's my, like, my life depends on it. Which we're okay doing that, with like recursion and stuff, but that might limit my options a little bit if I don't get enough capacitors out. So I gotta play this next fight very, very carefully. Suppose we do the weekend. Ah, uh, how much are we looking at here? Man, these fights are taking a lot, a lot longer than I. Man. Good thing we have good block, right? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, if, if that conserve battery or ice cream, that would be fantastic. Oh, we use bias cognition, so we're actually... Here's what we're gonna have to do. GG, my friends. Alright, we're full life. We're going to a Runic Dracohedron. Give me darkness, maybe? A second consume. I think with one consume, we're doing enough. I think if anything, we take another capacitor. And that's not bad to have another capacitor because... Then I can have more orb slots for more frosts related things. I'll take the capacitor. Scrape is really good for card draw as well because it may draw things you may not. So let's go ahead and upgrade. 
What's the best upgrade? Either the card draw or capacitor space. Maybe capacitor space. Because if, if we're going to play the focus frost game, that's probably the play, right? It's only one more orb as opposed to like... I don't even know. These are not the best upgrades. I suppose stack equilibrium glacier. Oh, that's upgrade capacitors. All right. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Let's get this guy. Set to consume out ASAP, right? Let's get the loop out. I want to bring. I like Equilibrium here, because I can play Capacitor or Leap and stuff on the turn, next turn, right? I'll do, get rid of the Strike. It makes me draw less because of Sex Nikolai, but it's fine. Dark Shackles, to me, is fine to use to get it out of the way now. Unless I could defend it in a different way. I think I want to get Cold Snap out, right? So I can do Cold Snap, Capacitor, Dark Shackles. But I keep I keep the bandage up in my cycle. I mean, you can probably get more va value out of this in future runs, right? So let's just see if we can block without it. We can do leap, defend, defend. Or we can do leap, defend, cold snap, right? With cold snap, we're doing... Twelve. Plus nineteen. It's recovering it. But then the problem is... We're keeping this in the cycle, right? So it's probably a good time to get it out of the cycle. Even though it could be useful, it may not be as cheap. Beautiful. As long as we keep that rune through the adhesion, we're fine. We're not getting, now we need to get darkness and nurse the crap out of it. We gotta nurse this darkness like it's our life depends on it. So what I kinda wanna do is do the skim. I mean, Cool Head gives me two card draw as well, and it gives me more frost, which is always nice. It's like dual purpose you could argue that you know what this is perfect i was gonna say that you could argue that consume is probably worth it as well we're already approaching a lot of block we gotta get dark scaling there's the dark i kind of wish i could draw Alright, let's get buffer out then. Alright, we're doing good. We're doing really good. Doing really good here. The gremlin guy, you talking about gremlin knob? Uh, there's there's some offensive options you can take early on to, to handle him. Mm, I want to get this out of the cycle. Do we have enough block? I need to get the frost on the loop. If not the frost in the loop, what I need to do is get a dark on the loop. I think we're good. Let me see. No, we're not good. We have buffer of anything, right? Okay. I'm not scaling up as quick as them. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Pushing off the dark orb. I guess we do consume again, honestly. Consume and hologram. So we can do it twice. Here's what I want to do. I want to do it. Was recursion, recursion was free. This is absolutely perfect. So we don't get the frost bonus with the fence on loop, but we get the dark looped up. And now that's the perfect position. We have two buffers. We've managed to consistently defend. We have pretty much good passive defense. Um, I want to just keep this dark there. It sucks that it limits my options just a little bit, right? I can't do things like, like zap for more damage. I mean, I suppose I could. I mean, there's really no problem with me doing Zap now. 
and just rotating the orbs. I don't need to hold on to this for dual casts. I don't think I need to do that. I think I could do things like Equilibrium, Zap, Doom and Gloom. Start rotating around. I think we're fine. They are scaling pretty fast, right? So, th here's what I could do. It's like, what I could do is... Hold on to this and dual cast and guarantee the death kill on this guy. Or I could just do zap and do 75 now. Let this be looped a little bit. Do some passive damage with zap. I could do consume. Consume is still going to be giving me energy. I mean, uh, a block gain right now. It limits my options a little bit. Okay, so we have 36 plus 21. We're fine. We'll hold on to these just in case we want to use it next turn. Still got buffer. Dual cast is doing 123 twice. That's a little unfortunate because I don't want to waste that much. Because that guy, that girl is almost dead, right? So that's a little unfortunate. The alternative is to do what? Dooming Gloom, Zap. Get this doing some stuff. And once this person's dead, the fight should be pretty easy. Because we already have another darkness back here. So it might be okay to just do... Do a gloom zap defend now. Since she's going to be dead. Or he, whatever. And then we already have another dark scaling. And we have a lot of focus, so we're probably fine. And we have two buffers, so I think we just, I think we just unleash the beast. I think we unleash the beast here. Exactly. And I was hoping that it would hit the, uh... I was hoping it would hit... There's still a chance it can hit, right? Nice. Alright, should be GG. Bison Nation is fine now. Glacier's perfect. Glacier gets the dark right where I want it. I mean, I could... Cool headed just to unleash 61, and I already have another dark coming. Let's see what we draw. Maybe we get recursion. Ah, recursion's perfect. Matter of fact, let's do cool headed again. I can hologram recursion again. I can hologram doom and gloom again. Or zap. Let's do zap. We might, might even have lethal. I didn't, I didn't really check. Alright, we have lethal here. Easy. Whew, sorry. That was a lot of uh, thinking. A lot of focus. That was fun. 1594. I think that's my highest score, guys. I think that's my highest score, guys. Easy clap. Easy clap. No damage per... Uh, 1600, pretty much, on the defect. Probably my highest score on the defect so far. Let me let me double check. Pretty, pretty decent. We got beyond perfect. Wait, wait. We beat every boss without taking damage. Capacitor's OP. I think focus is good.